here to look at the water cycle. Look at the three ways that water gets into the air, what it does while it's in the air, how it gets back down to the land, and what it does while it's on the land, and then it repeats itself in a cycle. The first way that water gets in the air is via evaporation through oceans and lakes. The second way is transpiration, water coming up from the plants. The third way is respiration, water vapor coming up from the animals. Then when it's in the air, it undergoes condensation, where it reforms little water droplets and forms the clouds. Then it undergoes precipitation, falling back to earth in the form of rain, snow, sleet, hail, etc. When it gets to the land, some of it runs off until it gets to a lake or a river or the ocean. And some of it undergoes percolation, where it goes into the groundwater. So here we go. Evaporation, transpiration, respiration, condensation, precipitation, runoff, and percolation. One more time. Evaporation, transpiration, respiration, condensation, precipitation, runoff, and percolation.